welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our stamp set Window Scene Spring and its coordinating dies. Now Window Scene Spring has been designed to be used with or without our awesome window frame and it looks so cute either way. And you may recognize this whole concept because we originally did this in the winter. So we have a Window Scene Winter and now we have a Window Scene Spring and their coordinating dies are interchangeable as well and I'll show you that in just a little bit. For first let's check out the stamp set. This set has two window scenes and we have one in a spring style and then we have a window scene in an Easter style with all of these cute little Easter eggs hidden about. This set also has some great sentiments and the Sending Sunshine is one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna use it on so many different cards. We also have a Happy Spring, we have Happy Easter, and then we have Hope Your Day is Extra Special, and then there's an extra little flower that you could add to the scenes or not. Next up, we're gonna use some Copic markers to add color to these fun images. And I love these window scenes for lots of reasons. One, I love that they work with that window frame die. It's so cute. But I love that they also work on their own too. And what's great about them is it gives you this perfect little scene. And you could use the scene just as is and send a super cute happy Easter or sending sunshine card. Or you can take characters and add them into the scene. And our cute little mice are perfect for adding into these scenes and also are all of our tiny friends. And we have some tiny spring friends in this release that are so perfect for this and we're going to be showing you that in just a little bit. So here you can see I've added some color to our tree trunks and now I'm adding color in to the awesome grass. Now I'm using Copic markers for this but I think this would be really really fun to use some of those zig markers or watercolor pencils with because you could add a little bit of an edge and then blend it out with some water and have this beautiful watercolor look on this scene. And I love that the scene is just created for you because it makes it super quick and easy to just stamp it out and add a little bit of color. Now because I did yellow greens for the grass, I decided to do some just standard greens for the leaves just to have two different shades of green going on in my card. And then here for my sky, I'm going to use some really pale blue greens. I always love using these for skies and so I'm just really lightly going around creating a little bit of a darker area towards the edge of the grass. And then we'll add some nice happy bright yellow for the sun in the corner. And then for the flowers, I'm going to be alternating a bunch of colors. And I recently got some new markers I hadn't really played around with, and this was a perfect way to play around with them. I got a bunch of red violets, which I didn't really have before. So I'm using different shades of these and doing two or three flowers in each of the different shades. And I think it looks so pretty. And I just add a little bit of darkness to each edge of the petal and then blend it out with my light marker. Now we're going to do a similar concept here and I wanted to do a different color for the tree trunk but I ended up regretting these E40s. It didn't quite look right to me so I went back and took my E50 markers and just went over the top of it and I thought it brightened up that E40 a little bit so I was able to save my tree trunk, thank goodness. Next I'm going to use some yellow green markers and we're going to use the same shade of green for all of the greens in this card. So I just brought out a bunch of different markers from dark to light and for the ground we're going to be starting with this kind of medium to light markers and I always like to do darker towards the bottom and then lighter towards the top. And then where the hills overlap I'm going to do darker on that second hill so it makes it look like the first hill is created a shadow on the second one and you can see by doing that it makes it already look kind of three dimensional. Now I've brought in a darker shade of green to do the grasses and then I'm going to bring in an even darker shade of green to do the leaves in the trees. So we stayed all in the same family but kept bringing in darker greens to create variation of color between the leaves on the trees, the grass, and the hills. We'll do some yellow for the sun and then some blue-green marker for the sky. I always just look for my light blue-green markers and that's what I love to use for sky. I just think it looks so pretty and bright. And so we're gonna add it darker towards the bottom as if there's a little shadow coming up from the eggs and the grasses. We added a little bit of dark area around the tree as well. Once again, as if there's a little shadow and then we'll blend it out with the lighter marker. Now next up we're going to get to color in the Easter eggs and the flowers which is so much fun because we can bring in a lot of bright and fun Eastery colors. And so I'm going to have some pinks and purples here and then I'll just kind of repeat the colors around throughout the flowers and the eggs just bringing in this fun little kind of bright pastel look for Easter. And then we're going to add some purples now into our cute little flowers and I'm going to have all of those flowers be the same shade of purple. 
Here are the coordinating dies for the set, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. And the coordinating dies for the set is really, really cool the way it works. So the interior part of it is gonna line up with the black edge of the frame and it's going to cut it out. But it's also going to cut this really awesome rectangle frame as well. Now you can use the dies from Window Scene Winter with Window Scene Spring and vice versa. So all of the dies are interchangeable. So you could use the plain rectangle or the scalloped rectangle from Winter or use this really cool stitched rectangle frame from Spring. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna line it up. And there is also a really awesome banner that fits the sentiments in this set too. So we'll line that up as well, run it through the die cut machine. And now you'll see that we'll have the perfectly cut out little scene. And we also have that really awesome stitch frame and then we have those great little banners so you can cut out the different sentiments with the banner and then that stitch rectangle frame is going to cut out the scenes and then also cut this really great frame and then you can take those scenes and you can drop them into that frame to give it a fun kind of detailed look and I love that you could use that frame just on any card to frame any scene too. Now the other really great thing is you can use the window frame die with these scenes too. So you'll see that they fit perfectly in that window frame as if you're looking out into this super adorable little springy Eastery scene, which is just so fun and cute. So you can either frame the scene with the stitch rectangle frame that's included in the coordinating die, or you can use this window frame die to create this really cool kind of looking out the window feel for your card. In this video, we're gonna show you both ways of using this, and we're gonna start off first with the window frame concept. And to create a really cool background for this, we're going to be using the Spring Blossom Stencil, which is one of my favorite stencils. So here we have a standard size piece of cardstock, five and a half by four and a quarter, and we're gonna start off with the greenery part of the stencil. And we're gonna line that up with our piece of paper, and then we're gonna add some ink. We're gonna add some freshly cut grass ink, which is just this perfect bright green for this scene. And so we're gonna pick up some of that ink and then ink it right along this seam. And we're just going to keep building up that color going around the entire stencil. Once we have that green all built up, we can lift up the stencil and you'll see we have these beautiful little leaves there. And then we can bring our next stencil into the scene. And so the next stencil we're gonna use is the one that has lots and lots of blossoms. And these stencils have these little etched guidelines which you can then line up. So we're gonna look at those etched guidelines, we're gonna line them up with our greenery, and then we're gonna hold it in place. And then here we're gonna be using some ballet slippers ink to fill in these flowers. Then we can lift up this stencil and you'll see we have these beautiful little flowers with greenery. And then we're gonna take the third stencil in the set which gives the detail to the flowers. And once again, we're gonna look through the stencil at the etched guidelines and we're gonna line that up with all of the stenciling that we've already done. And then we're gonna take some bubble gum ink and we're gonna ink over top. And bubble gum is a brighter pink, so it's really gonna stand out and create these fun little details on that lighter ballet slippers ink that we did for the main blossoms. So now that we've inked up all of those details, we can lift up the stencil and look how gorgeous this looks. We're gonna set this whole panel aside and we're gonna start working on our window scene. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Easter scene from this set, right one right there, and then we're gonna be combining it with the Tiny Spring Friends. And there's these adorable little characters that are the perfect size for these window scenes. And here you can see just how cute they are. And one has little bunny ears and one is holding an Easter egg. So they are just the perfect little match for this adorable scene. Next, we're gonna take some white shimmer cardstock and we're gonna die cut that with the window frame die. And I love this because it gives it a little texture and a little bit of shine on the, to the card. We'll add some tape runner to the back of that window frame and then we can layer it right on top of that scene. And just how cute is this? I love the feel of looking out into this beautiful scene with all of the Easter eggs all hidden waiting for the little kids outside. And then we're gonna take our tiny spring friends and we're gonna layer them into the scene. And you can see how they're just a perfect match. And as you layer these little guys into the scene, it just makes me smile. Next, we'll give him a tiny basket to hold that's also in the tiny spring friends. I just love these little tiny characters, they're so cute. The little chick is included in that set as well. And then she's gonna be up there holding the Easter egg that she found in the scene. And you can see, oh my gosh, it's just so cute and so sweet. And then next we're gonna incorporate this window onto the card. So I imagine as if we're on the inside looking out on this super cute scene. So we're gonna be on the inside of the house. We need some fun wallpaper, right? So that's how we're gonna use that spring blossoms background is gonna be the wallpaper of our house. So we're gonna layer that onto some guava cardstock. 
And then we're going to use some wood grain cardstock as our floor. So we're going to layer that there towards the bottom. So now we have a wood floor. We have this awesome, beautiful wallpaper. And then we can take that whole window scene and layer that in. So we're going to add some foam squares to the back just to give a little pop off this whole background. And then we're going to layer that. And that's going to give that feel of we're inside the house looking out on this super sweet scene. Now for the sentiment, we're going to use the banner that's included in the coordinating dies for this window scene. And we're going to die cut that out of some guava cardstock. And then we're going to stamp the Happy Easter sentiment from Window Scene Spring. And we're going to die cut that with the same banner. And then we're going to layer these banners together. And it's going to really help it pop off the card. It's really a fun look. So we're going to take that little banner and then layer that onto the guava. Then we can take that whole thing and we're going to layer that into our hardwood floor at the bottom of the scene. And then we're going to make a card base that's five and a half by four and a quarter. And we can layer this whole card panel on top and our card is done. It's super cute and fun. I love the idea of the stencil background being our wallpaper. And then that window scene is just the perfect place to add those tiny spring friends. It's so cute and so sweet and just makes me smile. Next up, Shari is going to use the other scene in the set, and she's going to show us how to do it without the window frame. So take it away, Shari. So I'm using the spring scene from the window scene spring stamp set. You can see I've already colored and cut it out. I cut it out using the die, the coordinating die, which also cuts a stitch frame that's going to go around this. I'm using some of the flower market paper. I'm going to kind of be using this in strips to create a background that goes behind my window scene. So I'm starting out with this yellow piece that I cut in half. But I'm also using this mini slimline stitch rectangle. And this is going to give me some stitching detail. This is a little bit longer than my card. So I'll trim off the stitching detail at the top and the bottom. And it'll just give me stitching detail on the sides. I'm doing the same thing with this little scrap piece of blue. I'm using one of those mini slimline rectangles. And so when I die cut this, I'm going to end up with a piece that has that nice stitching detail on the top and bottom. This is where my sentiment is going to go. So here is that piece that I'm just trimming off right on the inside edge of the stitching on one side and then when I flip this around I can cut it to be five and a half which is the height of my card and it's going to end up right on the inside of the stitching on the other side as well so now I have this panel that just has stitching down two sides so kind of like a big fat ribbon that's going to be on the card I cut a piece of craft card stock with the windy backdrop for some fun stitching details and I'm just inking up the edges of it with some tea dye ink to add a little more interest and definition to this background piece. This also makes those stitching details kind of stand out a bit more where that ink gets in there. And then I'll just put this right onto my card base. So I have a craft card base here to make it kind of match my background that I've created. And I've just put liquid glue all over the back and I'll just line that up on the card base. I can add some adhesive to the back of that yellow flower panel that I created. And I'm just gonna adhere this down to the left side of the card, not all the way to the left side of the card. This is kind of off center. And then to make my little window scene, what I actually did was I cut a piece of craft cardstock that's going to be hidden in the back. You're not going to see it. I used the white piece of the frame that was cut out when I die cut the stamped image out and just adhere those two together. This way I can layer my pink frame, which is what I want to see on top. And it actually sits up in front of the picture just a little bit. But this makes it all one piece that I can easily adhere down. And part of the reason why I did this is because I want to pop it up on some foam because I'm going to wrap this twine around and tie a little bow. It would be a little bit difficult to pop up that frame on some foam without it all being one piece with that piece of cardstock on the back. So I'm just using this green twine, wrapped it around a couple times, and tied a bow. 
And you can see this is where I want that to sit. I've already put the foam on the back, leaving a void through the center. That's where the twine is going to be. So this way the image lays nice and flat and that twine just passes behind, sort of in that channel that I created between the foam strips. Now I'm taking that blue piece of flower market paper that I die cut earlier and that's where I'm stamping the sentiment Sending Sunshine. This I'm going to layer behind my image. I'm centering up the sentiment so it's right below the image and then I'll just cut the excess that's hanging off the side. So you kind of have this abstract layering of these pattern papers in the background. I also cut some hearts from some guava cardstock using the Hearts and Stars with Skinny Tag die. And I like to sprinkle these around just to add a little more pop of color. So I just figured out where I wanted to place them using all three sizes of hearts. And I'm just going through and picking them back up, adding a dot of glue, and then putting them back in place. Now for some glitter embellishment, I'm using the new Sparkle Glaze and I'm just adding a dot of that to the center of each of the flowers on this little scene. So it's a very subtle little embellishment in the middle of all of these flowers. I'm also going to add some to that orange part that I colored, the rays of the sun. And then finally, this sparkle glaze has a really nice precision tip, so it's really great for tracing lines. So I just trace the top line of that hill just to add a little sparkle there. And then this is my finished card. I just think it is super fun with those pattern papers and perfect for spring. This card is so cute, Shari. I absolutely love those layers of pattern paper and the little hearts just make me smile. And next up, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And here Mindy shows us that our adorable mice are a perfect fit for these awesome window scenes. Here, this card by Anea is so much fun. I love how she layered those different rectangles of different types of paper and then added our rubba dub dub ducks. It's so cute and so fun. I love Audrey's bright colors and how she layered in our tiny spring friends. That strip of gingham paper on the outside is so sweet and so much fun. Elise added some images from Garden Before and After to the foreground of her scene and it's so cute and sweet. I can't wait to try a card just like this one. I love how Callie just used part of our giant Easter sentiment and then added the tiny spring friends on an Easter egg hunt in her cute scene. It's just so fun and beautiful. And then Lynette made two gorgeous cards that I just love. I love how she layered the bunny and chicks and basket and eggs from Tiny Spring Friends in this one. And then here she added those cute little frogs from Berry Rainy Day and they're so perfect in this spring scene. And then this card here by Kara is so cute and I love how she did a bunch of masking to create a one layer scene. Absolutely gorgeous. So we can't wait to see what you guys create with these awesome window scenes so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!